Hey y'all, I want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video and I have some Dollar Tree Farmhouse Christmas DIYs for you guys. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love if you would stick around by clicking that red subscribe button and then just tap the bell and all that way you're notified every single time i upload if you enjoy budget friendly diys like i do then you definitely don't want to miss a single thing because not only do i do budget friendly diys but i do lots of giveaways on my channel i do hauls thrift flips and so much more so you don't want to miss a single thing and definitely make sure your notification bell is on as well so with all that being said let's jump into today's diy DIYs because I am so excited you guys. Now all of these projects are super simple and quick and easy to do. So one of them is literally just taking it out of the package, designing a sticker for it, and then placing that on there. So once I took that one out of the package, then I just set that aside. Now you can draw on that one regularly with a chalk with um, chalk if you want, but I personally did not wanna do that, so I just set that aside. Now for this tag, uh, sign from Dollar Tree. All of these items are from Dollar Tree, like I said earlier. Um, all I do is take off the jute hanger. I put some painter's tape around that chalkboard part to make sure that no paint gets up on the edges, and then I give it a couple good coats of my white Waverly chalk paint. Once my chalk paint was dry, then I take my mini chip brush and some of my crimson Waverly chalk paint and I just distress the edges as well as the entire sign with it. Now once that was dry, then I go in with my moss Waverly chalk paint and do the exact same thing just to give it some of those Christmas colors and tie everything together and just make it look more festive and, you know, exciting and fun, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I don't really know, but anyway, I just wanted to make it look more Christmas-like. Now to make a bow for this, rest in peace this bow you guys it looks so cute at the end but um I can't find it anyway I'll I'll explain that more here in a minute but to make this bow my friends Shayna from Robinson repurposing and um uh, Savannah from Savvy Crafts with Savannah they always do bows like this but I never really do I like the bow the other way but since this sign looked pretty plain I did think that one of these like messy bows probably would have looked better so I just take a bunch of random ribbon that all like goes together and looks well together like the color scheme and then you just want to um, place them kind of like an X alternating the patterns and then you'll just pinch it in the middle and tie it with some jute and then once you tie it off you'll just fluff it up and look how cute this is you guys i'm so sad that i lost it but oh well it just is what it is so let's jump over to design space i open a new project and i insert a shape of a square once i insert the shape and i unlock it in the left hand corner I add in the measurements and you always want to measure your project before you do anything that way you have exact measurements and when you cut you only have to make one cut I then go to the bar on the left hand side and I insert text and then I type in days until Christmas and for the wording I do do three separate text boxes that way I can just move my text around like I like and I can move the wording around like I like and I don't have to um, worry about it all being like one entire shape if that makes sense. 
If not, uh, let me know in the comments. You don't understand what I'm saying. And I can explain it a little further to you. But um, I did want the days until on the one side and then Christmas at the bottom. That way I could go into Design Space. They have hundreds, if not thousands of images to choose from. I inserted some trees. You can insert multiple images at once. Once it goes into Design Space and you insert it into Design Space, then click off of them and then you can go back in and separate them because if not you'll just drag around all of your images that are grouped all as one in the beginning now for this other little tree now i wanted to take this tree and put it with the other trees i wanted to take out um one of them and then add this like fancy looking one and I didn't want the bottom of it to be there so I wanted to show you guys it's really easy to like cut up your images all you have to do is take a shape like a square and then shape it down to be like a rectangle and then place it over the spot that you want it to slice and then you'll go down in the right hand corner and you'll select slice then you're able to separate the pieces and delete the pieces you don't want and then for the original piece where the other piece will be still like attached to the other piece then you'll click contour then you can go in and hide those pieces and when you go to cut it it'll only cut the part that you want it to cut I hope that makes sense if not let me know in the comments down below because I always feel like when I talk like I know what I'm trying to say but it just doesn't make much sense so anyway for the chalkboard I went into design space I found those little cabins but once again the wording on top I didn't like it so I just sliced that off and then went into design space and found happy holidays I inserted it into my image and when it was sized to where I needed it then I selected all of it and then I welded it if you don't do that once you go to cut it you're it'll be all wonky pretty much now for the last project the round little one um you're not going to see that yet i'm going to show you how to diy that here in a minute but i always like to do all of my images at once so i'll kind of gather all the projects that i'm going to do i measure them and then i go to design space and design everything so here in a minute you're going to see the monogram you probably saw it in the beginning of the video but i did just want to show you how to do this um broken letter i know that this is a technique that a lot of people search for but i just went into design space i selected text and added in the word or the letter i should say n and then i'm going to take that same or i'm going to take that um square once again i'm going to size it down to a rectangle and then i'm going to place it over it and slice it i'm going to remove all the interior guts that i don't need i'm going to go over and select a square again and i'm going to unlock it and size that down to a line i'm going to put that line underneath the top of the broken letter and the bottom and then i'm going to go in to text i'm going to type in our last name i'm going to size that down put that into the middle of the n i'm going to select the entire thing and then once again weld that together and the best part of all sending it to the machine and watching this thing go you guys i love this cricut maker 3 i cannot tell you enough good things about it it cuts so quickly you can use the smart materials to cut up to like 24 feet i believe it cuts up to twice as fast as the cricut maker when you're using the smart materials you can cut up to 300 plus materials it's also compatible with 13 tools for cutting writing scoring foiling and embellishing and 
again you guys I just love this machine so much it's quick it's quiet and you definitely want to get yourself one and now I have a code so that code is all things crafty 10 at checkout for 10% off any materials machines anything that you guys want from the Cricut website you guys can now get 10% off with all things crafty 10 okay so once I have this printed out weeded and then I attached it to my back or my um, transfer tape good lord you guys per usual I can't think or talk but I um, just pull that back and then place it on my sign I use my uh, burnishing tool I know I always get that word wrong but I got it right this time you want to burnish that down meaning just smoothing it down with that tool and then you'll just pull back your transfer tape and your image will stay behind I've showed you guys that a million times so I didn't think like you had to see it again um, but I will show you that here just for good measure so I place my placement or my transfer tape onto my image and then sometimes like the transfer tape or the vinyl doesn't like to come up so before you go like quickly ripping it you want to just make sure that your vinyl is pulling up when it's supposed to and if it's not then just take your weeding tool and just very lightly just go underneath the edge and then your transfer tape will grab onto it so just go slow and steady and then um, once you're done and you lay it down onto your project then you want to repeat that just in case the vinyl wants to stick onto your transfer tape when you try to pull that back and then you guys that quick and easy to make high-end looking decor on a budget and it did not cost us much to make or much time to do so that's what I love mostly about this let me know in the comments down below which project is your favorite per usual Okay, so this is probably my favorite one, but you guys can let me know per usual. So I take this circle sign from Dollar Tree and I start by taking the sticker off of the back as well as placing the hanger from the back to the front. I then take this wallpaper. I have been loving using this lately from Dollar Tree. It's just so simple and easy to use and it just covers your project in like two seconds. So you can just continue on to the next step without having to wait for paint to dry or whatever the case may be. So anyway, I trace that out, cut it out, and then I stick that down to my sign. And then I wanted a wreath on this and so I went in in with my wreath transfer and I just transfer that on with multiple different colors. Now to make berries for my wreath because it didn't have berries on the actual transfer, I did just take my tool and some of my candy apple chalk paste and I just put red dots all the way around and then I glued a simple ribbon down to the bottom of the wreath. 
Next, I take my transfer tape and you guys, I'm using the same piece of transfer tape throughout this entire video. So just make sure that when you're using your transfer tape, you try to get as much use out of it as you can because in my experience, and I've been using Cricut a long time, you can use the same piece over and over again. But anyway, I take my monogram and I burnish that down to my in the middle of the sign and then once again I pull back that transfer tape and you guys I love the way that all these projects turned out I enjoy using my Cricut so much and I know that you guys will too just look how amazing this little setup looks and I'm it's just getting me so excited for Christmas I love this time of year because it's a time of year where it's still a little warm but you can feel that crisp air coming and you just know that winter is approaching so let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any questions thank you so much for stopping by and thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video if nobody has told you today you are absolutely gorgeous you are worthy and I love you with all my heart and soul don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe Subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!